Hello everyone, this is Vaz from Vaz Crafts Creations and I'm bringing you another video where we're gonna decorate this mini booklet that we did in the previous video. On that video, if you haven't watched that one, we cut this um, papers. We created these pamphlets only using a 12 by 12 paper pad. So, um, we created this one. Let me get the things out that I'm gonna use for there. So we created this one. This one have a side pocket here, a dark spot. We have a pocket on the top. Let me show you just a second. There you go, that's the pocket. And then on the last page you had the dark spot and the pocket. So that's that one. Then the other one, um, that we're gonna decorate in another video. You have this pocket here, your pocket in the middle, and then this other pocket here. So we did that one too, and then let me just put this to the side. And then we created this one, it's the same as this one, but we created this one double, so you have more pages. This one is closed here, but we have a pocket here, a pocket here, and then all these other pockets. So you have plenty of pocket on this little pamphlet. So today we're gonna decorate this one and just add some journaling cards um, to the project. I had this vellum paper um, here that I may use, um, for example, I will add it here and create a pocket up here. Just, I need to cut it a little bit. And this is just vellum paper that I have laying down around my house. I think this one is smaller. Let's see. Yeah, this one is smaller, so I can use this one here. So that is my thinking and closer here. And I got this inspiration watching some videos on YouTube. Uh, where um, there's a trend that was going on around that is called hashtag one cheat wonder and there's plenty plenty of video that you can watch and get ideas on how to use only one um, 12 by 12 sheet and the one that I like most was from Pink Strawberries, um, she did this kind of cut with her paper, this kind of pamphlet, and she decorated it. And so I got the idea from her and I wanted to try it. And since I'm doing this for, um, I wanna send it to someone or, you know, as happy mail or maybe give it away, um, I just decided to go ahead and record the process. So you guys can, you know, have that on my channel and that way you can learn something new. So that's my plan for tonight, just to decorate this and add different journaling cards that goes with the same paper with the same colors. So I have like 10 here. And the paper um, that I'm using is Botanical Garden from Cartabella Paper Company. And what I have left is just the stickers and we may use some of these ones because we already use all the papers on this um, scrapbooking um, set. We used some yesterday on a video where I altered a calendar and then I used the rest of my paper to create this booklet. So, I don't have any paper left, just the sticker and stuff, but that's it. We use all the paper for this uh, beautiful collection, scrapbooking paper. So I know for the front, I just gonna decorate, um, I want it simple, I don't wanna add it that much. So I had this journaling card here that I'm gonna use right here as my cover. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that. So this is gonna be for my cover. And I just wanna keep it simple. I don't wanna get to, you know, I don't wanna add a lot of stuff. Cause the paper is already busy. We don't need to add that, that much stuff to make it beautiful. So 
This is going to go on my cover. And you can decorate this, you know, any way that you want. I just give you the basis of, you know, an example, and then you go ahead and decorate with your own things that you have at home. And you don't have to follow exactly the same way that I'm making mine. This is just, you know, as an inspiration for you to create something. Okay, so that's gonna go in my cover. And then right here in the middle, I wanna use, no, I, I wanna use this one. Okay, so this is gonna be a pocket up here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cut. Let me see. Let me get my puncher and see if I can. Okay, this is the back. This is the front. But let me see if I can cut this with, you know, the vellum paper with my... Yes, yes, yes. So that's gonna be my pocket right there. My glue, my glue is not cooperating again. In this side, I don't know if I should do it with my glue or just tape. I think I'm going to go ahead and use my double-sided tape to close this. Let me just clean this glue here. Because I don't like how the glue looks. So maybe with this double-sided tape, let me move these little pieces of paper out of the way. They were from the, project, from the previous project we were cutting the um round rounding the corners for this okay so let's use double sided tape i think i'm gonna use it um this one here that is one eighth of an inch And see how that look and if it work. I'm just gonna be careful because vellum paper is delicate and I don't want to break it. So let's remove the backing of the tape. And I got this tape at Hobby Lobby. And it's an eighth of an, e of an inch. Okay, so wait. Make sure, oops. You just got it a little bit here because it is interfering with my let me move it here so you can see what I'm doing it's interfering with my fold on line I think I needed to glue this part more to the inside but that's fine Still too long, so I'm just gonna remove this part, um, the tape that I put on this side, and I will add more tape. And hopefully, I'm cutting this tree. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I'm just gonna dye myself with the tape here. Okay, let's see, let's check now. Yeah, now it's better, so let me just add the tape to this side again. And like I always say, we're learning together. So it doesn't matter if you make mistakes. If you can fix it, you fix it. If no, you will start over again. I know it's, it's not what you want, but it's, it is what it is. Okay, so let's try this again. So let's, yeah. A lot better. Let me see if I need to cut this here a little bit. Right here. Okay. So we have that pocket there. And let me see where I want to add this one. So this here, I'm going to go from the back. So I'm guessing here. So let me make sure that now I leave my space there. Okay. And I'm just using my clear gel tacky glue. Um, but this paper get um, wrinkled when you use this kind of glue. So I just want to only use it here because we're gonna hide it with the other paper so it doesn't matter that much okay okay so Just to cut a little bit here on the top. See my paper is wrinkling here. <laughs> yeah, with vellum paper you have to be very careful what glue you use. So you know, if not your paper is gonna get damaged. So let me just do the little notch here that I forgot. Okay. Now we're ready to close this pocket. I love making cards and different projects with vellum paper. I have some tools, I don't know the name of those tools. Embossing tools maybe, let me show you. Let's see if I, I have one here that I can show you. But it's embossing um, tool that you do if I can find one. I have a bunch here, but the one that I want to show you. Okay, there's one here. So this is the embossing. Um, and let me show you what you do. So uh, since I was in high school, I learned how to do this. So you take your paper and I'm just gonna do a little heart here. So you do it on the back with your embossing tool. And then you see it's raised up. I don't know if you can see it. 
but that's my heart. So that's a good thing that you can learn from, you know, this paper. So I used to do, like, I'm gonna write my name here. And then I go in the back. And I just embolse it. I don't know if this is embossing. I, I'm guessing it is. Okay. So there you go. It's my name with the heart. So I may do a video using the vellum paper and my embossing tool and we will do a card or something together, but I love vellum paper. It's very delicate, but it's so pretty look. Okay, so let's continue. I just wanted to show you that because I learned that when I was in high school. I have a friend that she do um, cards and like reading car cards and stuff with the vellum paper and I fall in love with that technique. So we may do one together sometime. But if you didn't know that about vellum paper, you learned something new today. Okay. Okay, so let's see. I have these two pieces here, but I think Yes, I don't know if I should do another pocket like this. I just close these ones. Um, I can also do one of these here and just leave it like that. So when you open it, but then I have to see. Let me see how my paper look with the tape. Well, it don't look that bad. Let me just trim this. It don't look back with the tape. You can hardly see that tape. So I may do that on this one. Let me see if I can round the corners. Let's see, I wanna see which one is the front, which one is. This is, this is the front because the color look darker. Wait, so it's here. Where? Let me see if I can work this one. Oh, uh, well, yeah. I know I can put another paper on top. Let me show you. Let me see if this works. And round my corner. Oh, my paper got stuck. Let me see. No, it didn't work. Okay. What's just trying? That paper, the other paper, that copy paper is to it work better like that. So, okay. So let's see if I need to cut this a little bit. I just want to cut it a little bit more. I know, I know. Should have done before that, that before, but just want to. I just don't want to cut uh, too much. Okay, I think that's good enough. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna put the tape on this flap. And let me see something before. This is my last page. So I will do the same thing on this one. So let's do that. That's the end of my tape right here. Got it. I should be sleeping already, but I'm not even tired. It's 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 late. When I say it's late, it's the other, it's already the next day. But 
I don't know if I, if I have said anything on my other videos, but I have arthritis. I have rheumatoid arthritis, and I also have ankylosis, spondylitis, arthritis that's on my back. And now they think that I have fibromyalgia too. That's why I'm always, it's chronic pain all the time. So sometimes I can't sleep. I'm in too much pain, but that's okay. I'm thankful. You know that God give me life every day, so I just bear with the pain. But right now, that's why I'm not sleeping because I just took my medication, but it, uh, you know to help me sleep and all that. My pain medication, but still hurting. So I'm just creating here. I'm not gonna complain about it. I, I, my life will continue, right? But it's already three o'clock in the morning. I usually, when it's three o'clock in the morning, I will pray, but I already did, so. Okay, so this is gonna be this one. I like it, you see? So let's do. And we're just going to close these pockets later, after we're done with this one. And this one is going to go like that. So let me round the corners very carefully. That will work better. And let me just cut this. Just... If you're wondering what's the size of this booklet, it is four and a half wide and six inches long. So it's four and a half by six. That's the size of this pamphlet after we cut it and everything. Okay, so perfect. So let's add the tape. Let me make sure that this, oh yeah, I did the right side. So let me add the tape to this flap here. And I want to thank you everyone that's watching my videos and has subscribed to my channel. My channel, I really appreciate all the comments that you're leaving me and the ideas. So if you have an idea or something that you would like me to do, just leave it on the description box below. And I will make sure that I will work it on my schedule to make something that you are requesting. Uh, is there something that you would like me to make so you can learn how to make it just let me know and if I don't know how to make it we will find out a way <laughs> to make it so but hopefully you guys are enjoying my videos and you're having fun and learning new new things Sure that this is straight. Okay, so so far, this is what we have. This will open like this. Then we have a pocket here, our pocket here. This pocket here, your other pocket, and this will open like this. Okay, so here maybe I will add later on, not right now, because I don't have anything ready a journaling card or some line paper just to have something to write here. So I may do that with these two pages, like this two and this two. 
Well, this one, because we're going to close these pockets. These two pockets, and first, I guess this one, this one, and then this one. So we have three pockets that we're going to close right now. So let's start with this one. And I'm just going to put the tape here on the side, on, bo on both sides. Side. sure that it's sticking to my paper because on my other video they were not sticking that well this probably have like um texture so maybe that's why okay because it is the paper is like texture it's not smooth is that's what i'm trying to say I removed the tape and not the backing of the tape. So let me just get this here. Make, make sure that it's sticking to my paper. Okay. So let's close the last one. There's something here. Okay. Already. So this one is next. this I didn't like that pa this paper that much but now I really like it okay I think this is the last one that we need to close I really like it how it's turning uh, the prior is turning do, do you say turning up it's turning on, on, I don't know, it's turning to something, but it's, it is, I like it. Okay, let me glue, stick my tape there. This is our last pocket. So I'm gonna make sure that stick well to my paper. And let's see. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Let me take this out of the way because I'm not gonna glue anything else. And let me move some things out. Okay, so let's work with this. Let me get my middle pocket here. I'm gonna use one of these. This one says choose joy. I didn't add anything to the back, but I may do some line paper so they have journaling space. And I'm just gonna leave it 
like that so they know that there's a pocket there and this one say Colette moment not teens let that one go there Okay, Ugh, my paper, did I need to cut it more? Okay, so let's do this one here. This one say, do more of what makes you happy. I'm gonna go there. Here, I'm gonna put this one. Oh, I put this one, okay, there. Let's use this one. Listen to your heart. Maybe we should put one of these ones here. Our story. Let's see if this one will go inside of this. This one says choose happiness. Oh yes, that's awesome. Okay. And then we have one last one. And this one goes here. And this one says, dance like no one is watching. But this one you can hardly see it there. Let me see, that one you can see there. So let's add this one here. And this one on the last pocket, that's better. And then this one, I may add something here. But I love it. Let me see if I want to use any of the stickers. Yeah, this one, this one say, call it moment, no things. Say the same thing. I, I just, I think I'm just going to leave it like this. I, I like it like this. I don't want to add anything else. And these stickers say the same thing that my journaling card says already. Oh, this one, listen to your heart. I don't think that there's one that say that, but... I don't want to add anything else. I think it looks pretty the way it is. And the front, I'm just going to leave it like that. And it's a beautiful day. That's what it says there. So this is it for this project. I hope that you like it. Let me show you inside again before I say goodbye. I think these pages are going to cut a little bit more because they're getting um, like folded here. So I may cut that then a little bit. So if we have this here. You have your journaling card, more journaling card, pocket, pocket here, another pocket, pocket. So you have plenty of pocket. The other pocket here, pocket, and then your last page is this one. So what do you think? I really like it. Let's count the pockets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you have eight pockets total. So I hope that you like this video and that you enjoy the process. If you do like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below saying that you like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so tonight. And happy crafting, everyone. Have a good night. Enjoy your day.